Hello everyone, we're back for another video, another new one of course. Um, this is gonna be something I am gonna upload every single week. Haven't quite decided the day yet, I'm thinking a Tuesday every single week, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, it's just a chill game, I wanna have something kinda solid <laughs> on my channel that's like a, a normal thing every single week that you can come back to type thing. So, I have played this on my channel before, I don't think the videos are still up. But we're gonna go ahead and start a new one today. Just, you know, start and fresh, start from scratch. Make our little person. Oh, I never realized that was a ponytail. Well, we gotta stick with the brand. I don't know, what should our farm name be? The Snazzy Farm, there we go. My favorite thing is mango. And I don't care too much about what my outfit is, so we're just, <laughs> we're gonna continue. I have seen this so many times. I kind of want to skip it, but just for you guys, I'll go through it. For my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Envelope, envelope, whatever. Oh, here it is. Thank you. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Yes, grandpa. Now, listen close. <laughs> there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest. Okay, bye. Years later. Uh-huh. Wow. Ooh, that guy's really going for it down there. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yep, yeah, little, oh, he's really, ooh, he's having a great time. Oh, here's me. At least I'm not as worse off as that guy. Come on. Open the envelope. Let's go. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Grab it. Grab it. Dear Brickle, <laughs> if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. This is Nazi Farm. <laughs> oh, Grandpa was so good at naming stuff. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Don't think I'm gonna get a choice. Lewis kind of crashes in anyways. Wow, look at that scenery. Green. We've made it. Hello, you must be Brickle. I should have made my name someone else. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm is right over here if you'll follow me. I don't think I have a choice. Wow! Look at all that work I get to do! This is the snazzy farm. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. It's very snazzy. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. You still called it a mess though, so like, I think we're on the same page here. And here we are, your new home. Yeah. The man of the hour. Ah, oh, the new farmer. Hey, Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. It's one way to put it. It's cute. I don't have an issue with it. Rustic? That's what- Oh! I've played this game too much to know what she says. <laughs> Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Listen, it could be worse. I've seen crustier houses. Don't listen to her, Brickle. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. She doesn't have to, because I will be anyways. Just saying. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. That is my least favorite part about this game. I hate walking around and meeting everyone. <laughs> Most of the time, I ignore everyone, but I'll try my best. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Peace out. Let's go get this gift, though. Oopsies. Parsnip seeds. 15 parsnip seeds. Okay. Um, yeah, I have to introduce myself to a whole bunch of people. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Now, let's get to clearing this out. This is gonna be a chill playthrough. I'm not trying to finish all this in like 
weak. We're not a speedrunner here. Wish I was good enough at games to be a speedrunner, but unfortunately, that's not my expertise. So we're just gonna take our time and try and make a fancy farm. Some of my goals is I would love to actually try and make like, oh, a frog, try and make this farm actually snazzy, like decorate it and organize it and all that. I'm so bad at that usually. Like I'm talking half the time, my stuff is haphazardly placed and I'm just going with it. So that's our goal. We're gonna try and be a little bit better than usual. Okay, beautiful. Now we have that. We're gonna quickly make a little path to this, fill up our watering can and we're heading out. We're gonna go meet everyone. I used to play this game so much and I knew exactly where everyone was gonna be. Now I don't. It's been too long. <laughs> so we're gonna have to be doing a lot of um, running around trying to see if we can find people. To begin, let's go down here. Oh, there's Marnie. <laughs> hey girl. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Will do. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, let's talk. I forgot what her name is. Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. That's all. She's very talkative. Hey. Ah, uh, Haley. I'm knocking on your door. Come out. I just want to say hi. I'm assuming Jody's going to be in here. Ooh. Can you come out, please? I just want to talk to you. Why are you just standing in the middle of your room? Weirdo. Hey. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I never know how to take that. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Yeah, so be nice to me. Don't be sassy. Okay, well, we're gonna continue on. Willie, I can't meet- Oh, hey, Louis. What is happening? <laughs> Elliot, I just want to say hi, and then I'll never talk to you again. I'm an Elliot hater. I don't know why. I don't really have a reason, but I always have been. So I gotta stick true to my roots. <laughs> Shane is probably working at the Joja Mart. We can go say hi to Clint, since he's right here. Hey. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, bye. Um, I will be taking you up on that offer, though. Just not yet, because I'm broke. I don't think he's someone I need to meet either. We're gonna ignore him. Does this count as meeting someone? Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Does it count, though? Oops, wrong one. You're up. I think so. We'll see. Oh, perfect. Pam. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll go along fine. Not planning on it. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Okay, bye. Hey, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think you're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Bye. Let's say hello to my favorite people. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. This is my favorite person in this entire game. I love George. He's 10 out of 10. Hmm, this is irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> is this open yet? Can I meet Gus? Yes, I can. Hello. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Yep. Okay. Anyways, met you. I can never find you. So we're saying hi to you. Hello. You must be Brickle, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs a general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Not yet, but I will. Okay. Here's... Hello. It's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Cool. Uh, you, hey, it's Miss Brickle, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is a place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Okay, bye. We're just gonna run around and see what I can manage to do. That looks goofy. What is that? Why have I never noticed it looks like that? Hey. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I shall shortly. Okay, I've already met you. Oh, Sebastian's out. Great. Oh, you just moved in right. Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yeah, cry about it. I need to find Linus. Is he? Oh, he's up by his fire. Okay, hold on. This is my second favorite person. A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, just live out here alone. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Next place I think we needed to check is down by Marnie's ranch. Oh, 
Okay, well, there's one of them. Hey. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Great. Okay, Emily should be in here too. Yeah. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Clearly, because you're here right now. Oh, perfect, Elliot. Okay, hey. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Cool. Now, I still have to meet the two kids. Haley. Maybe Haley's out of her room. Oh, she is. Okay, cool. Hey, girl. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. See, you're rude. I understand people are trying to do the, I can change her, but I just don't have the energy. Okay, who's, so Jazz, Vincent, Harvey, and Willie. Who else? Abigail. Okay, where the heck would she be? Well, we're gonna hop into bed and then tomorrow we'll try again for the last few people. Hold on, before we go to bed, oh, we're making a chest. So I can put away all my stuff for the community center. Uh, for now, we're just gonna put it there. So yes, yeah, so we're heading to the beach. We're gonna go meet Willie. Okay, we're gonna get Willie out of the way and then we're gonna be able to fish. Yeah, I love fishing in this game. <laughs> hey, ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. So can I have your old one? <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Oh, there's a good... Oh, there's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells, heh <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Shane. What, what do you want? Go away. All I'm gonna say, Shane has been my guy of choice every single time I have played this. I don't really have an explanation why. 9 a.m. Oh my God, why does everyone open at nine? <gasps> yes. Da da da. Hi. Okay, bye. Turn around. Come back, child. Come back. Turn around. Stop moving. Stop walking away from me. Pow. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Okay, bye. Clearly, I'm not trying to kidnap you because I just ran away from you. That wouldn't be very efficient. Hello. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, too bad. Now it's mine. Knock, knock. Yay. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's a rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Thanks. If you have never seen anything about Stardew Valley before, I mean, I can obviously answer the questions. Like, if you have questions about what I'm doing in the comments, let me know. But I have played it enough where I kind of like, I know the goal. So like... I automatically know I need to collect stuff for the community center because, okay, so you can, there's the Joja Mart and you can buy your way out of the community center. So it's like a whole set of tasks or like goals that you just never have to touch if you spend money on that. But me, um, I think, why would I give money to Joja? That's like the... When we were in the whole, like, cubicle office thing in the very beginning, when we were, like, dying because of the, the stress of the daily work life or, okay, whatever. That, when we were dealing with the stress of life and being going to work every day and yada yada, whatever. That little company that we worked for is Joja. They're, like, taking over the world, kind of, okay? And so if you buy this membership... They take over the community center, which is this crusty looking building we passed earlier up here. I'll show you. Hold on. Maybe we'll run into another leak while we're up here. This place. Okay. So one of the main parts of this, I don't know a lot about the game. Okay. But one of the main parts is to rebuild this basically. And the whole deal is they have these bundles where they show different items that you need to complete the bundles. Once you complete all of them, it'll rebuild the community center. And that's like... Da -da, you did it type thing, okay? Otherwise, I haven't gone too deep into this game. 
I have only ever finished an entire year once, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the game just keeps going. <laughs> so, realistically, you can play this game for a while, okay? Now that we're on the topic of this, all any of you who have played this before or just wants to see something, if there is anything you think I should do, or any tips, or whatever, let me know. Leave them in the comments. Also, I kind of want it to be a group effort here and decide who I am going to marry. You can leave your request in the comments. We're going to give George a leak. It's my favorite thing. Thank you. Yay! Um, I don't care who it is. Like I said earlier, Shane is usually my pick. I don't have a reason why. I just always do. <laughs> Except for him. He's not allowed. And I swear if you guys make me do that. We're gonna have issues. Anyways, let's fish. We need to start getting some money so we can buy that dang backpack upgrade. Okay, yeah, I remember fishing in the beginning kind of sucks because your little bar is so small. Ah! Boom. My first fish with this, basically for my channel, I want it to be kind of like chill stuff, right? Like the cozy games, for the most part, obviously like I'm probably gonna do some Dead by Daylight every so often, throw that in there. Am I in your way? I am. My bad. But I just wanted something consistent to put up that is just nice and relaxing. We can sit down and play this each week and just like, you know, chat and do something like that and not have like with Harry Potter. Like I feel like there's always just so much going on in that series. <laughs> Like, almost every single video is just some crazy task I have to figure out how to do, and it's like, uh... Got some new ideas to sleep on. Does that mean I raise my level in fishing? Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh! Our first treasure. Wait, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Please, don't be- start going crazy. Okay. What do we get? Uh oh Start fishing away. It's gonna be a routine for a hot minute. While we are sitting here and spending our life fishing, I wanted to talk to you guys about- Oh, I just- My bad, no one saw that. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Recently, I have debated the idea of starting to stream again. I don't know if I would do it on here or on Twitch. But I figured I'd throw the idea out there and see what anyone who saw this thought of it. It wouldn't necessarily be an all the time thing just because I have a job and I have other responsibilities so unfortunately I can't spend my every waking hour doing this but I would love to so I just I wanted to toss it out there and see what some people thought of it and you know potential ideas of what I should start streaming again and yada yada it's been a hot minute since I tried to do any of that and I don't know it's been an idea I've tossed around for a couple weeks now, but I just I haven't decided to do it again. Um, while we still have some daylight, I'm gonna zoom around and see if I can find any lakes. Lakes. Hopefully, my I think the parsnip should be done growing in a couple days. I don't remember if it's day five or if it takes a whole week, but hopefully, once those come in, I'm gonna start getting more money from that. So as long as nothing goes wrong, we should be pretty close to getting the backpack anyways. Let's actually go in here because maybe we're gonna find some spring onions while we're there. I don't know if those- oh, what a horseradish, I can tell that. <gasps> there is, okay. Beautiful. Spring onions. Nope, nope, nope. We- oh my god, there's so many. This is beautiful. Okay, well we have found just about everything other than the leek. <laughs> But I'll still take these. I need money. Hopefully there is a dang leak up here. There is. Hallelujah. Is there anything else hiding up here? There's another leak. Oh my god. Let's, while we're up here, try and catch some mountain fish. Okay. We're gonna head back to bed. I don't know how much money I'll get from all this fish, but we'll see. Okay. Let's water our plants. Okay. Well, on that note, it looks like it's gonna be another day full of fishing. Okay. Willie, let me strike a deal with you. Okay. I really need this backpack, so can you maybe give me my fish for more money today? They're great fish. You're gonna love them. People are gonna eat them up. Literally. So, like, make me rich. 
Thanks. <gasps> okay, hold on. We have enough for the backpack. We're on our way. I'm so excited for this bird brick. Yes! Yay! Look at how much more room I have. I am actually going to fish in the river today. I think a change of scenery would be nice. Why do you have to stand in front of that specific bush? What is so special about that bush? I am going to use the rest of today to empty out my farm. Okay, we're going to break some rocks, some trees, all that good stuff. Because I would like to build a silo. Not this episode, probably next. Just because we're not going to have the money to do that. Let's start over here. I'm going to ignore like the grass for now. I want to wait until I have a silo to get most of that. Just because... I don't know. I kind of want it to actually go to something, not just be wasted. <laughs> I wanted to get some of this cleared now in the beginning before we get stuck in the routine of having to use a bunch of energy. Like, I think the cave opens up tomorrow? I think it's day five. There's going to be a couple days where we are just spending the entire day in the mines and I'm going to have no energy by the end of that. So if my farm starts getting overgrown, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. Okay, I'm starting to feel exhausted, so we're going to leave it like that. Um, there is a secret I know that's over here. We're going to go investigate it. Brickle, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. I have never seen what that meant. I get addicted to this game and I play it for weeks on end and then I forget about it. I basically play a bunch and then every single time I play I just restart. While we're over here we're gonna go say hi to Linus because why not? Is he out here? Sebastian is. We'll say hi to you. Hey. I snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone okay? How did you get in there? It's literally blocked off by a boulder. Like you're telling me he made it through that. Okay. Anyways, let's break into Linus' tent. Is he even gonna let me in? It's not like he has a lock. Hey! Hmm? Do you want something from me? Nope, just to say hello. I'll leave now. Bye. See, he wasn't mad about me breaking in. He just said hello. Anyways, we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> I think we're gonna leave that there. This is a good start. We're, you know, we're we're just, we're trying to make a name for ourselves now. We're still digging our roots, right? Haha. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll slowly get into this. Like I said, I'm gonna take my time with it. Just probably just uploading one video a week of it, you know, give or take every so often. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, hopefully you'll, this is a series you want to see. Um, let me know any tips in the comments. I would love to know more of the lore. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I shall see you guys next week. Bye!